Hi, welcome to Progressive Goalkeeping Tactical Presentation. Today we're going to work on engaging in the game and moving with our defensive line. So, we're going to work on position in relation to the ball. So, the ball is in our, we're working in our four, four zones. So we have our attacking zone, middle third, so we have A, B, C, and D. So our four blocks. So we have block A, block B, block C, block D. What we're looking to do is making sure that, as a goalkeeper, it's really important that we're engaged in the game. So, what we're looking to do is, as the ball moves forward, so we've gone from block D into block C, we should be looking, and we're in possession of the ball, at the moment, we should be looking to drive up. The more we engage, the more our defenders then start moving up with it. So, as the ball travels, okay, we're now into block C, 11 pushes on here. As we get into block B, and now we're starting to get past halfway, we should be driving our players up. So the speed at which we drive is really important. If we go slowly, then our defenders will, and it creates a whole lot of space between between the lines which then allows the opposition when they get the if they win the ball to to counter quite quickly and more space to retain possession the idea is what we want to do is whilst we want to create space when we have the ball we want to make sure that we're pushing our players up to then support adequately so if we do lose the ball we can transition quickly and we can transition effectively to try and win the ball back as quick as possible but most importantly as well, is while we have possession, how can we support the players? If we're too far, then we don't supply that support. So, ball travels into block B. We're now pushing forward. So as the ball's traveled forward, we should be driving up, which means our three and four, or our back line, must be driving up at the same speed. So what we, our goal is to try and make sure that if that ball gets past, goes into block Block B going into block A, we should be between block C and block D. If not, in block C towards there. So the idea is we're pushed up, defenders are up on halfway, we should be engaged there. So we're minimising the space between our three and four or our back line and ourselves. Now, we have to be careful not to be too high because then we create space in behind. So for instance, if the opposition win the ball, we then create spaces in these pockets here where the opposition can look to counter, okay? If we sit too deep, then we create all this space here for the opposition to play the ball into. So what we want to try and do is make sure we want to eliminate that area for the opposition. So by us sitting nice and high, and sitting in block C, we're staying engaged with, with the play. We give ourselves enough room. So if we introduce an opposition play here, so for instance, we get our two. A two's dropped in there to pick up the 11. Uh, where's our seven? So our seven's come in. Their seven's defended. Uh, we find our nine. Their nine's playing up front. Now, by us sitting in this area here, this central zone, this is the sort of area we can look to defend. So, say the seven, five's gone to play a cross in to the nine, or a ball into the nine, the seven's won the ball. So the seven now looks for a quick counter-attack. So they play, look to play that ball direct in behind. Obviously, the three is going to counter. Now, anything within that wide zone there, chances are the three can deal with it. So by the time the nine comes across, we're hoping that the three should get, be able to get across and deal with it. Chances are, percentages are, we don't need to be coming to look too many, for, for too many there. If, on the other hand, the seven gets it, and they travel, and they look to play a ball into this sort of central area, then this is where we can become engaged in the game. So, if the ball is played beyond the three, so for instance, this is the sort of area that the three would be able to, the three would be able to cover, Anything played beyond, then we should be looking to try and come out and deal with if possible. 
So the nine starts making their run. Anything in that, the ball lands in that area. Three can pick it up. Anything beyond, then the, can we, by being in the right position, can we try and look to try and attack as many balls as possible to clear up the ball in behind? So we, our mentality should be, we should be looking for that, to attack that space. So the idea is we can clean up balls in behind. If we can't, then we are looking to drop and defend. Our goal, if the nine wins the ball, to then create an opportunity for us to, where we can. But if we, are, if we are sitting in the right position, anything that's played beyond what the three can get in a central area, we should have a good opportunity to look to attack and deal with effectively. Whether that's the first time clearance over the sideline or be able to take a touch without any pressure, players open up and we can look to then play out that way. Okay, so it's really important. Our starting position and being engaged in the game is really important. So we're looking, if the ball is in, well, for instance, if our defenders are on halfway, then so on the edge of block, block C and block B, then we should be on the edge of, if not, in block C. So we should be looking to be on the edge of block D, going into C. As the ball's traveling, then we look obviously to, to drop. As our defenders drop, we drop in, in defense as well. So if they're halfway between, uh, halfway between block C and block D, then we're looking to be around our penalty spot. So to sustain that distance as the ball is moving, as our defensive line is moving as well. Now, everybody's going to have different variations on this. These are the principles we want to work in. We want to try and be confident in looking to attack the space that's in front of us and support and engage our defensive line, as well as being able to be, be in a position where we can then defend what's behind us once the opposition start moving forward. But when we have the ball in a higher area, as the ball travels, Okay, as the ball travels forward, we're driving up, we're staying engaged. So when our defensive line is in on halfway line, so on the edge of block B and block C, we should be looking to be on the edge of block D slash can we even step into block C if we're comfortable in doing so. So stay tuned for some more videos in, return, in terms of we'll do some more tactical work and understanding in terms of positioning and reading the game. We we'll look forward to speaking to you soon. Thank you.